women make better police officers. Research shows that in some situations, female officers are associated with more positive outcomes than their male counterparts. And Chief Joe Chacon signed the 30 by 30 pledge this afternoon. The goal to get APD to 30% women by the year 2030. I don't think female cops really want to protect and serve. I uh, looking them up and the fact that we've done this magnificent before and we've seen them before. Okay. So we would figure we'd give you guys a call and take a look. This is the one that had the most concerned is this big one right here. Okay, but you took it out of the water and you put it in. Yes, yeah, did we found them. Didn't go off. No. Right, which is a good thing. We're actually with Magna Fishing. If you pull something out like this, obviously with the drying out, causing them to explode. So right away we put them in water mm -hmm. and came back over here. So yeah. we've only had them Not all too long So ago. other than it <coughs> being a similar shape, because I mean it's obviously very deteriorated. Yeah. How can you say for sure that this is not You can't. That's why you gotta have that's... bomb squads on all. Most likely. Okay, we but found... the bomb squad has a lot of things that they gotta do. I understand. This is like the grenade that we pulled up. Yeah, we found 20 mortars I understand. in Michigan, and they had to come out, and they took them all and detonated them with C4. Even though they were unactive, they still have to dispose of them the right way. Okay. It's not like we can just throw this in the garbage can. I understand that, but you're taking resources away from the city of Fond du Lac every oh, yeah. single time you guys do this. Oh, what a crabby one. She's crabby. Yeah, so we just found a potential explosives and the police never are not had, happy with us. Never have city worker get mad for us finding no, something dude, like, this way. It's a fact. Women are the weaker sex. And the only way that they can intimidate anybody is to point out that they have a gun. Just like this woman does. State the law. State a sign that says I can't be here. You're not going to say it, so I'm going to keep filming the building and do what I was doing. I'd probably be done if you wouldn't have came over trying to surround me like you guys are. You see how they are? They keep trying to follow intimidation tactics. That's what they try to do. There's no law. I walked around a building to go film, and you got all these, these wannabe cops. Who knows who they are? They won't, What's your name and badge number since you, won't, you want to hold your gun? What's your name and badge number? Identify, right? That's your policy. What's your name and badge number? You're not going to, you're going to be unidentified? It's in, not in your policy to identify yourself? And she's not going to identify herself? Look at you, you guys are garbage. They want respect, but they don't identify themselves. Garbage. Yeah, they're following me. You see that? You heard what she said, the harassment. She's, she keeps holding her gun. You see right here, man. They just keep following. They're all about it. They can't state the a law. They can't show me a sign. They want to bark orders. They're garbage is what they are. They won't identify themselves because they know that they're in the wrong and I'm going to file something on them because they're garbage. She likes my marijuana leaf. You like that? It pays for all your taxes to your schools. Yeah, if they want to show up, I'd love to talk to them. Hey, tell them to bring me a, like a, a Coca-Cola. I'm a little thirsty right now from talking to you tyrants. No name and badge number, no name and badge number, no name and badge number. Unwilling to identify. Pitbull wants you to notice how she keeps snatching at her gun. And if a civilian would do that, they would probably get shot. Walk around. So she's garbage. She just wants to hold her gun because that's a good thing. You're not holding your gun no more. I see that's not a comfortable place no more. I see that's not a comfortable place no more. I see that's not a comfortable place no more. Yeah, you're going to keep holding the gun? Yeah, you're garbage. You're garbage. Yeah, you see that? Here's a Karen right here, guys. Let's meet Karen. Let's meet a Karen. So these guys want to say you can't film, but she can't show me her, say, her sign. Where's the sign I can't be over there in that area? You still haven't showed me, right? What, and you won't identify yourself. Why is that? Isn't that your policy? I know it is. Um, excuse me, I was on the phone. Did so what's your name and badge number? Oh, my name is Rachel. And badge number? R337. And what's your name and badge number? Since you weren't on the phone and you were unprofessional, what's your name and badge number? That's your policy. What's, the matter with this guy? what's your name and badge idiot. number, bro? You're stupid. You man. understand? You hear that? There's a kid, but he doesn't know his rights. What's your name and badge number? She identified. Why is he not? Are you the superior officer here right now? I'm not a security guard. Are, are you? Then why is he not identifying? That's his policy. You're, you're not going to identify because you know you're garbage. You won't identify. What's his name? Stand six there it is. Six back. No, what's his name? If he's not going to identify, I'm not going to listen to you if he's not going to be professional. You if he would have be been professional. Back, you're gonna get oh, so you were six feet back there? I got it on camera where you were this close to me. So don't no I didn't no I didn't I got it on full camera I got two I got a body cam and this cam so don't try to lie <laughs> don't try to lie lady garbage know your rights at all times people do you see this I don't think we need any more female cops because most of them are really dumb.
like this one who has no idea what reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime is. So this means that she's illegally detaining this young man. So what? So okay. For yes. For what? I already explained that to you. What did I do? Disorderly. What? Did I what? <clears throat> Put him in the car and then we'll talk about what's going on. Okay. What did I do? Disorderly. I sure hope this sergeant is smarter than this woman. You You're welcome. What's he recording? The whole side of the world is But what was he doing that they feel is disorderly? I explained to them the situation and they said, Sam, what was he doing that was disorderly? He was recording them in the windows. The people? And he was walking by. He On this side too? or? I don't know if it was that side, but when I came up, he was walking all around this place. He was recording the windows, he was recording the doors, he was recording everything. And I'm like, Chris, I need to talk to you about this complaint. He just keeps walking like, Chris, I need to talk to you about this complaint. Who, who all seen him doing that? Were there residents in the windows? Uh, I don't know if residents were in the windows, but we had a caller about it, and I need to get a hold of them and see where exactly they are. So he's walking by videotaping the building? Videotaping the building. He's, like, zooming in on the windows, what, what, zooming that's, in on the doors. I know. It's and not illegal to do so that. I just, it's not illegal to do so that. I just, it's not illegal to do so that. I explained to them what's going on, and they're like, oh, my gosh, okay, I, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, but time out. State. That's not illegal to do that. Okay. So he's not acting in a disorderly manner if he's on the sidewalk walking by videotaping the outside of the building. Okay, That's the problem we have. Yeah, and they were disturbed by his actions once they found out what was going on. But how are they, they're disturbed that he's walking on the sidewalk videotaping? They were concerned because they don't know his mental state. They don't know what he was doing. They, and I told him I can't Well, he him. wasn't, I mean, as far as walking by with a video <laughs> camera, I mean, I'm not, That's that's not something that, even though they're bothered by the actions that he's doing. You could be bothered by a lot of things, Sam. Come on out. All right. I tell you, I got to get to the bottom of things. Go right over here. Okay. This kid was allowed to go home because that woman had no reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. Tustin police on scene here. The best way to describe this woman is with one word, and that word is clueless. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Yeah. We got a call about somebody taking pictures. Can of I get the... your name and badge number since you're making contact? Uh, yes, it's Officer Wilty, 1390. Okay, thanks. So, you got a call, you said? Yes, about somebody videotaping the. Oh, okay. Is there a reason that you're videotaping the bank? Oh, I'm not gonna discuss that with you. Okay, we just want to make sure that everybody's safe. All right. I don't control what's going on on the property, so I have no idea what, if everyone's safe over there or not. I'm sorry? I have no idea if anyone's safe over there because I'm not on their property. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you today? I didn't even ask to speak to you. I'm sorry? I didn't even ask to speak to you. Okay, well, we received your call. Okay. You might want to go talk to who called then. I'm sorry? You might want to go talk to whoever called. That would be your best bet right there. Most of these women who are patrol officers have no basis for their directives. All they want to do is throw their weight around. And you're going to see what I mean by that in a minute. Hey, it just takes a minute to subscribe, so do me a favor and hit that subscribe button right now. There's a sidewalk. Where's the sign that says no magnet fishing? So we can't clean crabs off of public property, off of public road sidewalk. Well, I don't see a sign that says we can't do it right here. That'd be trespassing on the riverbank. Where's the sign? I'm not trying to cause a problem, man, but I mean, we, I'm also not going to be bullied off public property. We travel the country doing this. 
If there's not a sign, we don't gotta go. I got something. Hey, there we go. We got a sign post, baby. Cleaning up some trash. Ugh. There we go. Cleaning up trash. See, all we're doing is cleaning up trash. What's wrong with what we're doing? We're not trying to scare the one called and all the traffic right now. Nobody worries about us on the bridge. Okay, guys, listen. Y'all cannot fish off the bridge. So, cannot fish off the bridge. Right here, you cannot fish off the bridge on Crow Bash. It is unsafe. Y'all can call off those the two bridges. Just those two bridges. That's it. We can fish everywhere else except for these you two bridges. You can go anywhere else, you just cannot fish on the bridges. What's the difference? Because we've been fishing bridges across the state of Louisiana for okay. the past two months. This is the first time we've been stopped by any law enforcement saying that we're you know, any okay. kind of problem with it. We have no shoulder. Yes. Somebody could, you could fall off, lose your balance, and we you could We have a sidewalk hit, right here. But you could fall off and get hit. We're going to okay. fall off this bridge? All right. You could fall off any bridge. This bridge? Well, I can't, that's our own. Listen. That's on us, though. I not can't you. help what you do somewhere else. But y'all are not allowed in our town to fish off the bridge here or the bridge on Rose. So we're not so allowed you guys don't to clean trash, trash in your town. Y'all can go elsewhere and clean trash in the town, just not right here. But not there's no the sign that says no fishing from the bridge, let alone no magnet fishing. Okay, nobody fishes from the bridge. Well, we're not saying no we're fishing either. Okay, well, y'all can't be doing whatever you're doing right here. You can't here. clean trash. Not right here. You cannot clean trash. All right, that's fine. Hey, we'll go on. You have a good day. Hey, Kyle, isn't this public property? Even if it's public property, you it's a safety hazard. You cannot be here and be fishing off the ridge or magnetizing or whatever you're doing, sir. You cannot. I need you to move. I don't on. understand though. There's a, there's a sidewalk. Okay, I'm asking you to move on. So I'm we are we are yeah. being kicked out. Is what you're saying? I'm asking y'all to move off of the bridges. I'm asking or telling? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a dick, but okay, like I'm not trying at the to same dick, time, I don't want to. The bridge. Okay, y'all cannot yeah, fish. You can go anywhere else but off the bridge. That's it. Y'all can go. This is where we do it. This, this is our job: cleaning trash off of bridges, cleaning up public. We're helping y'all's community. Okay, but y'all cannot be on our bridges fishing okay. off. The we'll bridge. go to another bridge and explain exact thing. Okay. Yes, Thank y'all. What's your name? Officer Johnny's badge number one twelve. Got it. What's yours? What's your name? Officer Trey, badge number one zero six. All right, cool. What city are we in? All right, sounds good. Y'all heard it, guys. Getting kicked out for cleaning up the trash. Shout out the police department. No, that's that's what's going on. I'm sorry. I we work with police departments all the time. By far the worst police department we have ever interacted with. Right here. 